two of college football's winningest coaches, Pat Dye of Auburn and Fred Akers of Texas, tonight face a rematch of a key game of 1983. A year ago, it was Akers Longhorns that prevailed and went on to an undefeated regular season. This 80-yard pass from Rick McIver to Kelvin Epps clinched it for third-ranked Texas, knocking Auburn out of second spot in the nation. Epps is back again. And the Tigers have a big play man of their own with Heisman Trophy candidate Bo Jackson, who scored 12 touchdowns in 1983, including this 80-yard jaunt versus Florida. Jackson carries the hopes of Auburn tonight. And if Texas is to make it two in a row, the Horns will probably have to go to the air again. Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas. A capacity crowd here as we near kickoff. Auburn has won the toss and they will receive. So we'll see the wishbone formation of Pat Dye first in action. And the question is, can Auburn bounce back after its disheartening loss to Miami to open the season? There he is, Pat Dye. His 11th year, 179, lost only 33 and tied one. Winning this coach that they've had percentage-wise for a while at Auburn University. Kicking off for Texas will be Jeff Ward. There's Fred Akers, his 10th year. He's set the all-time percentage winning mark in the Southwest Conference, winning almost 80% of his games, has won over 80% of his conference games. Here's Jeff Ward, a sophomore from Austin before the home crowd. He'll kick off. He's the kicking specialist. And by the way, Texas has one of the great kicking games in college football. And number 22, Brent Fullwood, a sophomore, will run back the kickoff. That means he's in there where we usually see Bo Jackson. Well, and this is also a young man, Jim, that they feel that may, may be better than Bo Jackson. Well, he's certainly exciting and explosive from St. Cloud, Florida. 196, and he can fly, and we're on the way. Low bounding kick, and it'll get back to forward at the two. Ties it up the middle, the 20 to the 23-yard line, and he's stopped right there by Texas. 